Hello, we have one last little exploration in this slideshow. Uh, we saw in the previous video that uh, you could have an AND OR circuit, but also a NAND NAND circuit that accomplishes the same thing. So we want to look at all of the other possible two-level logic circuits that you may see uh, in circuits down the road. So there are eight two-level non-degenerate forms. Okay, what does that mean? Well, if we use the four main logic gates, AND, OR, NAND, and NOR, there would be 16 possible combinations for a two-level logic circuit. So you could have AND, OR, you could have AND, NAND, you could have AND, NOR, NOR, OR, and so on down the list. Eight of these combinations would reduce to just a single operation. So for example, if we drew an OR, OR circuit, we could just, rather than having two separate layers of ORs, we could just have one big for input OR gate. So that would be called a degenerate uh, orientation. So this leaves eight others that are non-degenerate two-level circuits. Okay. So this table here summarizes all eight of those non-degenerate circuit forms, and it gives an example equation of each. So if we are trying to write things in the SOP form, the most common one we're using in this class, you might see an equation that looks something like this. Okay. You can do that with an AND OR, the most common way we've seen so far, or you could see that as a NAND NAND, which we were introduced last lecture. You could also have an SOP invert form. This does the exact same thing as an SOP equation. It just complements everything at the end. Right? Notice that that little prime symbol is the only difference between Q and R equations. And so what two-level circuit can we use? Well, let's just do an AND OR and then slap a bubble at the end, making it an AND NOR. Or similarly, let's take a NAND NAND and remove that bubble at the end, and that would leave you with a NAND AND. We can apply the same sort of logic to POS circuits. Okay. So product of sum, we have most commonly seen built with an OR AND, but as you might expect, we could do that with a NOR NOR. All right, notice the patterns here. An OR AND could take the place of an AND OR. Also, a NOR NOR would be sort of uh, the opposite of a NAND NAND, SOP versus POS implementation. And then, of course, we can do a POS invert by just complementing the outputs uh, of what you see in the row above it. Now these will make a little more sense when we see them actually drawn out. These are the same equations that we saw in that table on the previous slide. So if I want to go SOP form, I have two options. I could do the AND OR, or I can use a NAND NAND implementation. And this by far will be the most common that you see in this course. If I want to do an SOP invert orientation, well, what do we do? We take the SOP and then we throw a bubble at the end. So that becomes an AND NOR. Or similarly, I could have a NAND NAND implementation and complement it by removing that bubble. And so this leaves me with a NAND AND two level circuit. One last slide here POS. Another common form that we will see out there, we've seen this done with the OR AND before, but a NOR NOR would also accomplish the same thing. And finally, the product of some invert form, let's just complement the output that we saw before by adding a bubble or by removing a bubble in this bottom example. Okay, so there are eight two-level non-degenerative forms. All of them have their own uses, their own applications. So don't be surprised when you see these sometime in the future. Uh, just write out the Boolean equation and you can see what logic is being performed there.